so I was cruising Reddit and as one does when you're procrastinating from actual work, I came across this post where people are absolutely losing their effing minds over California's new age verification bill. The thread goes something like, oh no, the bill says operating systems will have to verify age or or Linux won't be trusted or TPM chips are going to kill open source forever. You know the drill, right? Lots of hand wringing, lots of the sky is falling. So today, I want to react to that post specifically, the part that is actually in the bill, and explain how this or more likely wouldn't actually affect Linux and open, the open source world. Today, I just want to react to that post and pull apart what's actually in the bill and explain how this bill would or more likely wouldn't affect Linux and the open source world. So the bill in question is Assembly Bill 1043, the so-called Digital Age Assurance Act. And here's what it actually says. It basically says that starting in 2027, if you make an operating system, think Windows, iOS, Android, Ubuntu on a Dell laptop, now that one's going to be very important. You have to do three things. Number one, when the device is first set up, the adult in the room has to enter the kid's age or birthday. Number two, the OS then groups the user into one of four buckets. Under 13, 13 to 15, 16 to 17, or 18 and older. And finally, the OS has to provide an API, an age signal that the apps can query to see which bucket the user falls into. And that's pretty much it. No uploading driver's licenses, no biometric scans, no DNA swabs, just four bucket age bracket system. That's what they're proposing. The Reddit post gets some things right. The bill really does define operating system provider very broadly. On paper, that probably includes Apple, Google, Microsoft, and even some Linux distributions. There's really no carve out for, I don't know, free and open source software though. So yeah, I think Fedora, Debian, or Arch could fall under this law if you read it literally. That part isn't too crazy. But here's where the thread kind of veers into like full tinfoil hat territory. Some folks are saying, well, if the OS has to provide a signal, they'll need trusted hardware attestation. That means TPM, that means Linux will be considered untrusted and banned. That's literally nowhere in the bill. Not even close. The text doesn't say a word about TPMs or cryptographic proof. It literally just says the OS has to expose a real-time API that tells an app whether the user is under 13, 13 to 15, 16 to 17, or 18 or older. That's it. This is not DRM 2.0. It just isn't. This is basically an integer passed over an API. That's pretty simple, actually. So what does this mean for a Linux specifically? If you build, like, for example, your own Arch system or download Debian and install it yourself, congratulations, you're the account holder. You're just going to say 18 plus at setup, and that will be the end of it. I don't think anyone's checking, honestly. If you're Dell and you're selling Ubuntu laptops in California, yeah, you might have to add a setup screen asking for the user's age and expose an API for apps. That's where the compliance target actually is. Companies shipping devices into California. If you're running a distro mirror or hosting community packages, the state attorney general is not going to chase down 5,000 sysadmins who host Arch repos around the world. I think it's just unenforceable, honestly. Now, where Linux might feel this law is at the App Store level. Think FlatHub. It's technically an App Store, right? 
So if California regulators got really picky, FlatHub might need to request this age signal from the OS when apps are downloaded. But if the OS doesn't provide it, FlatHub could just by default to 18 or older, I think. And Snap Stores? Well, Canonical is a company with lawyers. If Snap is distributed in California, they'll probably build compliance in or at least pretend to. Way too decentralized to enforce, the AG would just have no leverage there, I think. And so the practical effect, big centralized app stores might build some boilerplate compliance code while Linux users will barely even notice. Here's a bigger picture. This law is aimed at Apple, Google, Microsoft, uh, you know, the folks that sell billions of devices to kids. They're essentially the real targets. That's why Meta and Google support the bill. They'd rather have this mild API age bracket system than harsher rules like Utah or Texas that require photo ID uploads. Linux is collateral here. On paper, yes, distros are OS providers. But in practice, the AG is not going after Fedora or Flathub. I just don't think they really care about us, to be perfectly honest. So to wrap this thing up, no, it isn't the end of Linux. No, TPM chips aren't coming to destroy open source. And at worst, if you buy a pre-built Linux laptop in California in 2027, you'll see an enter your age screen. If you build your own Archbox, well, I don't think you'll ever notice. Real story is Apple and Google's quietly pushing for a softer law that they can live with in California, setting itself up as the test case. I don't think this is cause for concern or freak out. Panic makes for great Reddit threads, but in reality, this is just one more checkbox in a setup that most Linux nerds will click through and never think about again. And to watch why open source will eventually be under attack, please click here. And last but not least, I just want to thank my sponsors, Isaac, Scrub Ghost, and of course, Russell, if you'd like to become a supporter, I make up a coffee or 90 like Russell did. Or you could become a member and be the first one to watch this video. God bless.